In this presentation, we will create invoices for service items, setting up new service items as we do so. We will be setting up these service items in a similar fashion as you might see for a legal firm or an accounting firm, in which case we'll be having billable rates for different employees that will have to count their hours for and then make invoices to our customers based on the work that is done. Our uh, invoices will be based on music lessons. So we're gonna imagine in our music store, we have different instructors and we're going to get a timesheet from them and bill our, our customers based on the hours that have been set in our timesheet based on the different instructors. This is kind of a job cost type of system for a uh, service company. So to do that, we'll set up new service items We'll also set up a new account on the income statement to track this type of income. Let's get started with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're going to go back up top to our customers and sales section. Let's first start off by opening up our income statement. I'm going to go to the reports drop down up top. We're going to go down to the financial statements, financial statements. We want to take a look at that financial statement of the income statement. Opening up the income statement going to be for the month of February. I'm not going to have the zero balances, so we will untick those items. And there is our information for, for this uh, month. So we have the sales income and the service income. These are the two types of incomes that we are currently grouping our information into. We're going to be set up service, setting up service items here, but we're, and we're going to set up another income account related to it. And this is going to be service items related to our uh, guitar lessons. So we're going to be providing guitar lessons. We're going to say we have instructors to provide those lessons. Now, as we do this, just re remember that when you look at the income statement, you don't want to set up too many income statement accounts. In other words, you probably wouldn't want to set up a new account for every type of service item. For example, you wouldn't want one for every guitar instructor, most likely, but uh, you might want another one for the group of guitar lessons as separate from other uh, service income that you would have. So uh, just be aware of the, of the grouping or when you would want another account here or, or not on the income statement. We will set up another account for the guitar lessons. We'll be billing this out in a similar fashion as we would. I'm going to close that out, close this out as we would for a law firm or a uh, accounting firm, in which case we have our employees. We pay those employees, but we also charge for their work. And those two things are not necessarily related. We're charging for their work on, a, on an hourly rate. They're going to give us their timesheet. Then we're going to be charging for their work to the customers. That means we're going to have to kind of lag on our invoices because we, we have to get the timesheet weekly or whatever, bi-weekly, and then enter that into our system so we can bill the customers for them. So we're going to go to the sales invoice. I'm going to create another sales invoice here. And we're going to create our, our employees, uh, our, our instructors uh, information up top as going to be something that uh, we will be billing for. So our first uh, client that we're going to have, we're going to have an instructor who's going to give us our timesheet and we're going to have our first client. So this is going to be someone who we're giving guitar lessons to. That's going to be Star, uh, Star Lee is going to be our client. I'm going to copy that because we're going to have to add Star. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say new. So we're adding the customer at this point. I'm going to put the customer ID as Star Lee. The name is going to be Star Lee. We might want other contact information. I'm not going to put it here for, for this. I'm going to put lessons uh, as basically the cu customer type. I might not do that every time, but I'm going to say, uh, let's save that. And that's who we're going to be billing. I'm going to close this back out. And there we have that tabbing through. Let's put this as of the 28th. That's fine. Uh, uh, invoice I'll put here for purposes of the practice problem. Then I'm gonna tab through and I'm going to then enter the new item. So we're gonna have a new item. So we're gonna set up a new item here. I'm gonna say uh, magnifying glass, opening up the drop down. We're gonna say new for the new item. I'll make this large. This is gonna be uh, Jody, Jody guitar lessons. So I'm gonna copy that. So Jody's gonna be our instructor. She's having guitar lessons and she's going to give us our timesheet that we're going to be billing on. So it's going to be a service item. The rate down here we're going to say is going to be uh, 190, 190 an hour. So she's a good guitar instructor. So we're going to say then the drop down, let's make a new income account. We're going to make a new income account here. So I'm going to say we need a new one. 
new income account. Now, number wise, it needs to be next to the other income account. So the income accounts are going to be down here in the 4,000. So uh, 4,055, let's say 4,405,5. Four and we'll call this guitar lessons. And then that is going to be an income account. So we want to make sure that this is an income type of account. So that's what we're going to have new service item. I'm going to save this and then close this out and that looks good let's save this now this looks good and let's close this out and then we're going to take the the, the item is going to be jody guitar lessons and we're going to be charging the hours we are going to say our five hours at the 190 that's going to be the 950 no sales tax applicable so what's going to happen when we record this it's going to be increasing the accounts receivable. The other side is going to go to income in the new income account we just set up. Uh, no inventory or anything involved. So now we're going to say, let's say uh, save up top. So we're going to do this for, we're imagining we're going through the timesheets now. So I'm going to say save up top. So then I'm going to go back up top and do this again. We're going to add another customer. So I'm going to say new customer. And we're picking this up from Jody's timesheet now. Diana martinez diana martinez i'm gonna copy that so we're gonna copy the name and put that down below and then i'm just going to save that and again we might put down here that this is going to be uh the lessons as our customer type may not do that every time but that could be useful i'm going to say save and then close this back out and then uh, everything looks good up top. So I'm going to put this is going to be Jody Guitar Lessons. So that's going to be the item. And we're going to say once again, five hours here as well. So that's going to be the 950. Uh, same effect on the financials. Then I'm going to say save up top and we'll do this again. Notice I set up the customer, but then didn't, didn't then add the customer. So it should be Diana Martinez. Then I'm going to save it. There we have it. Next, we're going to add another one. This is going to be, I'm going to say new. <clears throat> we'll have a new item again. New customer name is going to be Lynn. And this is Jackson. Lynn Jackson. I'm going to copy that and put that down below as well. We're going to say this is going to be for lessons. So we'll pick up the lessons and then save that and close it out. So that looks good. So I'm going to pick up Lynn. Lynn looks good tab through here we're then going to be down below once again this is going to be jody guitar lessons and we're going to say 10 hours a lot of work here for jody and that's going to be the 1900 same effect on the financials increasing the receivable increasing revenue so let's say save up top i'm going to say save up top and we're going to go to our next employee's timesheet now we're looking at the timesheet for Angela. So Angela's timesheet. And so we're going to say that uh, her client is Jenny, Jenny Jones. So don't we have a Jenny Jones here? Jenny? No. So we'll set up Jenny. So we'll say new. We're going to say new down below. New customer. That new customer being Jenny Jones. And then I'm going to copy that. So I'm put that down on the name down below. We're also going to say it's going to be a service or, or a lessons, the lessons. So we will pick that up and then I'm going to say up top, we will save that and then close this out. So then we're going to make sure that we pick up the name again, which is going to be Jenny, Jenny Jones. Then we're going to go down to the item down below within the item. This is for Angela. So we don't haven't set up Angela yet. This is our other instructor now. So I'm going to set up another uh inventory service item so it's like, going to be a new inventory service item and we're going to say this is angela guitar lesson lessons and i'm going to copy that they wouldn't let me put the s there because it's too long i'll put it down here and then it's a service item i'm going to put it here too we should have done that on the last one probably and then i want to put in the account it's going to be the guitar lessons account so that's the only one I, I need to, to change there to make sure that it goes to the, to the proper account. So let's go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to put in here Angela Guitar Lessons. 
and we're going to say that this is going to be for seven hours. And I didn't put a rate for, for the Angela guitar lesson. So I'm going to put that here. Uh, the unit price I should have put in place. I'm going to, I'm just going to add it here. We could go back into the items and add it, but I'm going to say it's 150. So I'm just going to put it in here for now. And that's going to do the same thing. It's going to increase the accounts receivable. The other side is going to go to that, that service revenue account once again. Let's go ahead and save that. So I'm going to say save. Next customer for Diana, we're going to go back up top, uh, or for Angela, uh, she's our instructor. We're going to say new, set up a new customer. The customer is going to be Diana, so it's going to be Diana Miller. So we're going to be in, be in here, we're going to say Diana Miller, and we're going to copy that. So I'm going to copy, put that in the name. We're going to say the type is going to be lessons once again, and we will save that. And then I'm going to close this one back up. And then we're going to go into the items down below. This is going to be Angela. And it's going to be six on the quantity. And once again, I'm going to have to fill the rate of 150. And that's going to be 900 there. So same accounts affected. We're going to say save and move on to the next one. Uh, I didn't set up. I, I'm going to say, okay. I didn't pick. I set up the customer that didn't pick the customer. So it's going to be Diana. Miller, Diana Miller. All right, then we'll save that one. Now we'll set up the next one. I'm gonna add a new customer. So we're gonna select the drop down up top. We're gonna to say new customer. This is gonna be Jill. So I'm gonna say Jill uh, Gonzalez. So Jill Gonzalez. And we'll copy that. So I'm gonna copy that, put that in the name as well. I'm gonna say that type is once, gonna, once again gonna be the lessons. And then we will save that and then close that and that's going to be then jill up top so we're going to say jill and then the item is going to be for angela's guitar lessons we're going to say nine hours in the quantity and the unit price 150 for 1350 so 1350 increasing the ar increasing the revenue we're going to save that one so i'm going to say save up top and we're going to do this for one more instructor, and that's going to be Rebecca. So three more clients, one more instructor. So we're going to say another timesheet for Rebecca's guitar lessons. We're going to add a new customer up top. That customer is going to be Noah uh, Davis. Noah Davis. I'm going to copy that. And that'll be the name as well. The type is going to be for the lessons. And I'm going to save that. Close this back out. We're going to be picking up Noah here, and then I'm going to add a new item. So this is for our other guitar instructor. We're going to say new item for this guitar instructor. Going to make this large. We will then pick up, this is going to be Rebecca Guitar, guitar Lessons, and that's all I could fit there. So I'm going to copy that, put that down below, lessons, and there we have that. I'm going to put that in the uh, for service. I'm going to see if we could pick the price level this time, which is going to be $100. And we want to make sure it's going to the GL account, which is going to be the uh, guitar lesson GL account 4055. Then we're going to save that. I'm going to close this out. Item then being... Rebecca guitar lessons for $100 an hour and we're going to have here eight hours $800 we're going to save this next one we're going to say plus and add a new customer a new customer Rebecca our guitar instructor second uh customer which is going to which is going to be Grace Matthew going to copy that going to copy put that down below as well grace this is going to be for lessons so i'm going to pick up the lessons and save that close this we're going to put that up top and this is going to be grace and then we're going to say this is for the item of rebecca and the amount here is going to be six so we're going to say six and i missed the amount it's going to be on this side six and it should be Rebecca's guitar lessons. I'm going to delete it. And that'll give us the 600. So we're going to we're going to save this and do it one more time. So let's save this and do this one more time. 
Last customer's Pam, so I'm gonna select the plus button up top. We're gonna to have a new customer. And then we're gonna say this is Pam Smith. Pam Smith, I'm gonna copy this. Put that down below. And then we're gonna say that uh, the customer is going to be, a le or lessons for the type. And then I'm gonna say save. We'll close this out then. And then in the items section, we're gonna put the item of Rebecca. Guitar lessons, and this is gonna be quantity eight. And that'll bring us to 800. Let's go ahead and save this and then take a look at our financial statements. I didn't add the customer again. So I'm gonna close this back out. We made the customer, but didn't add the customer. It's gonna be Pam, Pam Smith. Now let's save it. And now let's close it. Let's go to our financial statements. Do we have our financial statements open already? We've got the income statement open. You'll see the guitar lessons now at the 5,500. So then if we were double clicking on the guitar lessons, we're gonna have our information in there. So there's gonna be our guitar lessons that we have. This is gonna be a different income account. We set up another uh, income account for those uh, guitar lessons. The other side, of course, being on the balance sheet. So if we were to go back to our forms, I go to our reports, drop down, go down to the, to the financial statements, then the balance sheet, choosing February, the month that we are in, and then in the accounts receivable, double click in the accounts receivable. Here is gonna be all the information in the accounts receivable that then also being tracked by the subsidiary ledger report, which will track this information, tying out to the accounts receivable tracking by customer. That's gonna be it for now. Let's get out of here.